Hey guys, Coding Passion here. Welcome to my second devlog. I know it's a little late and initially I thought that I can upload weekly but weekly is really too tough for coding and studying. Also I was surprised that my first devlog got that much attention. For that effort I put in it was really nice to see that some people watched it through and also I got some followers what is very nice. So to this video, first I show you the recent progress I made this month. It may be look like not much for some, don't knowing what is necessary to get something to work that smooth, like it does in this project. Second I will answer or talk about some comments under the first devlog. And later on maybe I will talk about something I noticed starting on YouTube because I think it's interesting how these numbers on my first devlog increase in time even if it's just a 5 minute video without any cutting work, sound improvements and so on. More interesting it will get after this video where I plan to put some more effort in. But now starting with the first point. I watched a lot about voxels recently because this voxel systems are very powerful in my eyes. In order to get my project more in this direction I had to redefine some of my data structure because the code needs to know where everything is. I'm not as far as everything will be stored in chunks but if I want to keep performance high this will be important in the future. Sad enough though that I don't find any easy way to write these voxel systems and compute shaders for execution on the GPU in Unreal. I saw some really nice work on another channel but he made it on Unity. Maybe i link him in this video. So the first change I made this month was to make a system that the walls register themselves to rooms, here uh, you can see that both belongs to the same room because it first looks right of it and if there is nothing it goes around and checks and if it comes to the right side again it knows that this is a closed loop. This works really nice. You see this going around all the time and as soon as I close we have two separate rooms. On the one side it is room 1 and on the other side this is room 2. And yeah, this was the first change. Then maybe you saw uh, uh, this spawning uh, floor 2. It has no material on it for now, but it's just a small change. And the way it works is basically if one room detects a closed loop, so I made this wall here for example, it checks the right side and the left side if there is any point inside a closed loop. The way I did this was I used a algorithm that's called PN poly, at least this was the closest I found to the way I did it. So it finds that this point in this side is not inside this, this rectangle. For those curious you can look up PN poly. It basically just draws a line from this point in till infinity. Infinity. And if it recognizes a uh, 1 or a 3, uh, so odd numbers, it knows it is inside a polygon. And if it recognizes an uh, even number like 0, 2, etc., uh, it knows it is outside of the polygon. The reason why this is nice is now because I check each point in here with this method. So on this point it it says that it is exactly on the on the walls and these points are inside the wall. So 
there is going some voxel algorithm is going around and check each point and then draw for the pattern it it sees it makes the right tile for the floor and this system now works uh, on on these patterns too so if i have let's say such a room you see the floor is nice and the same thing will happen one one roof higher or one floor higher and this is the second change so now i have a basic understanding of which height one house has so and this works like if uh, if i detect a closed room uh, or no <laughs> and the way this works is that uh, every wall i spawn uh, checks if there is a wall around and if this walls currently uh, if this wall currently contained in a building if it finds no other wall this means i made a new building so the wall makes themselves a new building and if i connect the walls they all register to the same building and if there is a closed loop there will be a, a floor detected and this floor is uh, registered to this separate building too and the same thing is for the second uh, floor everything i make here is building this will be building three and height two and then i have i can make these buildings infinite high for now yeah this new system is very modular so it's because of the easy way voxels work I have a defined structure of this floor and it's basically a grid and everything I place on this grid will be registered to the building and this is important for later if I use chunks because then I register this building to a chunk and if it is out of sight I can simply hide it and this will increase performance. And now, uh, and was, what is cool too, I can change the floors. The shadows are here and look kind of weird, but this is something I will face later. And my AI can go into it easy. This little guy I made for the thumbnails. <laughs> I made for this video a uh, rooftop because then I can then the buildings look a little bit more like it, they should later on uh, yeah it's in game <laughs> I always look in the blueprint thing so this is a little simple rooftop I placed it in the world and then I can edit it right now with the keys but I want to change this it's just because it was faster to make it this way with shift x i can make it smaller with x i can make it greater and with v i scale it up oh and now i have a roof and it this uh, registered it to the building too so i can hide it I can show it I did. The indoor lighting is not that great right now. Maybe it's because the floor has no uh, nice material with indirect lighting. Uh, 
but everything works fine for now. Everything registered itself to a building, like when I make a huge window there. This is registered to the second floor and hide with it. Here I have no stairs right now, so this makes it hard for this guy to go on the second floor. But it's just placing something and saying the voxel system, the upside that it make it should make or it should don't spawn tiles where the where the stair is. So I think in the comments under the last video, uh, maybe some of you don't recognize that this is in game. So I could build this, and it will work. Very procedural, very customizable. Also, I got some uh, requests if they can join the project, but guys, I'm just a student and I have nothing to offer. No money, nothing. <laughs> Even time is short. That's why I cannot stream every week. I'm surprised now about the frame rate. It's currently... 120 FPS, even with this lot actors. Oh, uh, with all this time pressure now, I forgot the outro. So thanks for watching and please consider to leave a like, a comment or subscribe. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>